Hey guys, I'm here to help you tackle those office parties and family gatherings. Uh, first of all, we're gonna start want to start ranking our food at the party. So if you have a huge spread and you see that, oh my gosh, they have that awesome cookies that Jody made last year. I gotta have those. I love them so much. You know what? Go have and have one or two cookies. It's not gonna um, rank that as a number 10. That's your top thing that you want to eat. So, and then you see, oh, there's just a regular old brownie. That's not my favorite. I'm not gonna have that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on that table and we're gonna see a couple of our nine and 10 ranks. And we're gonna go ahead and have a couple bites have a couple of those nines and tens and leave out those ones and twos and anything lower than probably a nine or an eight and not have those because they're just a waste. Um, so we're going to be in charge of our party choices. We're going to use a smaller plate because uh, you know what? You pile that high, that looks like a lot of food. And we're going to be wise when choosing appetizers. A small portion of some healthy appetizers uh, is going to help you from overeating dinner. The idea is pick a small plate, stick with vegetables, and limit the creamy dips. Uh, restrict your intake of butter crackers, chips, cheese, and meats. If you're going to go for that deep fried appetizer, eat only one small serving. If that's your 10, go for it. But don't go blow it out of the water. Try not to go back for seconds. It's just an appetizer party. Fill your plate half full with vegetables and fruit first, then go for those nines and tens. For dinner, fill half your plate with salad and vegetables and a quarter with meat, and the final quarter with starch. You're gonna wanna avoid the sauces. Avoid sauces made from cream, half and half, or meat drippings. For salad, use oil and vinegar, vinaigrette, or low-fat dressings. Broth-based or vegetable sauces are fine. What about desserts? The best low calorie choices are fruit, jello, pudding, an unfrosted mini muffin, shortbread cookies, ginger snaps, or angel food cake. Mmm, love that with strawberries. If you're gonna have that decadent dessert with frosting, buttercream, cream cheese, or chocolate chips, limit to yourself to one small cookie or one thin slice of cake and eat it really slowly. Savor every bite. You're going to enjoy it while it lasts. Okay, watch what you're drinking. Try to restrict your alcohol to one or two servings. Don't go all crazy. It's a lot of sugar and carbs in those. Think about what you're drinking. For example, instead of high fat eggnog, have a light beer or wine. After that, stick with calorie free drinks such as water, unsweet iced tea, hot tea, or coffee. Always plan ahead. That's what we're here here for. We're here for you to uh, learn how to plan ahead for these parties. Don't go to the party hungry. Uh, drink your Shakeology. If you know that you're going to be going to the party at 5 o'clock, um, make your Shakeology an hour before that and drink it on the way. Sip it on the way, so have it. It's going to be your best friend during your holiday, during your holiday season. Uh, you can divide your Shakeology portion in half and consume half for breakfast like maybe you usually do and make yourself another hearty shake right before you go to a party. Add some PB2 or half a banana or other fruit and drink it right before you go. Uh, this, this can be a real lifesaver. Another option is eating your favorite fruit, fat-free yogurt, a low-fat whole grain granola bar when you arrive at the party. You won't be craving all those appetizers. If you're going to a potluck dinner, bring a healthy dish to share, such as a salad, veggie or fruit tray, or low-fat pudding, jello, or fruit dessert. That way you know you have at least one healthy item on the table of spread, and people will start recognizing that you're, hey, Julie brought that awesome fruit tray again. I love it when she does that. Or you know that I am the healthy one in the group. I'm not bringing those icing donuts, you know? We're going to focus on socializing. 
Don't stand around the food table while you're at the party. Focus your energies on having those great conversations with others instead of focusing on your food. Conversation is gallery free. Focus on your wins. Along with your food journal, you can post about any parties you have coming up or situations where you might struggle with nutrition. Let us know about those and then tell us how you did. You know, that's what we're here for. If you blew it, let us know. If you did great and you didn't eat that cheesecake you really wanted, tell us about it. Remember, the holidays are meant to celebrate good times with family and friends. Enjoying holidays with family and friends is what it's all about. This challenge is, is not about deprivation. It's about learning the tools to deal with the onslaught of sweets, treats, heavy meals, and parties we'll be going to this month. Think how amazing you're going to feel come January 1st when you can honestly say you did not gain any weight during the holiday season and you achieve the goal you have set for yourself is one more season, one more reason for holiday cheer. All right? Happy holidays. Have fun at those parties.